If this your first time listening, take it smooth and just sit slow and consider this your welcome to the Shoot From The Hip Show. Okay. All right. You ready to talk some news? Yeah, let's talk some news. While we getting ready to talk some news, I got this. I hope it works. Aims to serve as a community safe space for youth to express themselves through a number of creative outlets. Here at Translatable. Translatable aims to serve as a community safe space for youth to express themselves through a number of creative outlets. Here at Translatable, we focus on communities of color center the most marginalized, and emphasize the importance of parents and family. Translatable is also a resource hub for parents, families, and support system of the LGBTQIA plus youth. For our family, we were blessed to have a community of supporters and knowledgeable experts who could swiftly arm us with the tools we needed to support Zaya in her journey. We recognize the lack of digestible and relatable information available to youth and families, especially communities of color. And to this day, we are still learning. I'm so very proud of the daughter that I've had the opportunity to raise. She has been my biggest educator and inspiration of what it means to be true to you. That's why it's so important to create a collaborative space for the community to participate in the conversation and express themselves freely. You look disgusted. I'm, I'm so disgusted, man. Come Why? on, dog. Trans- Why? Translatable. Why? Because first off, that is a boy. Damon. Don't cut his dick off. Don't dog. cut his dick off, man. Yeah. Calling her that boy she and her. And, and see, what I don't like is how they try to they cloak their real agenda under black and, and, and people of color and all that. No, mm-hmm. talk about what you're really talking about. Don't do that disenfranchised people of color, black and all of this, and then try to slide LGBT element OP in there after that. Yeah. Plus. So come out with it. That's what you talking about. Talk about that. Yeah. Don't ease us in on that. That's that bull, man. Mm. Ah, I'm tired of that, dog. So tired, tired, every time tired. I see this and it gets shared amongst text group and everybody like, this nigga, man, what the fuck he doing, man? See, such, 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 such. All I'm saying is, and I had to tell a group of white boys this one time. Uh-oh. They were standing on business. You know, I, I don't that, agree God with damn that. It. And God damn it. <laughs> they, I think they were trying to say, like, health insurance should pay for, like, sex changes or something. It was something like that. Titties cut off or whatever. And uh, the only thing I'll say about people like Zaya is you don't know what they're going through. And their 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 identity is something we will never understand. So for Dwayne Wade, he can support it, or he can walk around pissed off all the time, and they could not have a relationship. You can support. So it. he can support it. There's a difference though. So there's two ways to support, like he's doing, or you could just say, "Hey, I'm still gonna mess with you. You do that shit on your own." There's also promoting it. You feel like he's promoting. He's promoting it. Okay, that's the bullshit. Let I kids, just want to make sure you 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 on board with the support of your child. Support your kids, man. Okay, All right. but don't be out there pushing that agenda on us, man. Yeah, I, I, I just and then like I said, people, I just know, man, people are so fragile with the way they're thinking and all of that stuff. And I, I just know that I don't. You I don't, can sideline. Like you, you can sideline or whatever you call that when you kind of on the side saying what you should should not do, but and I don't agree with shit neither. I don't believe I would ever have any gay friends. I, that ain't something I'm. I, I, I can't do it. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Hey Amen. But I know ostracizing somebody or making them feel unwanted. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I would never support that. that. Yeah. I never support that. But kids ain't supposed to be making those kind of decisions. Though. Let me ask you this: What if they want to sponsor the show? I'd be conflicted. Two million dollars. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Zaya sitting right here. <laughs> I try to strike a chord. It's probably A minor. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. It's like, nigga, I, I, it, it does come across as like they pushing it. They want to be the face of it. Yeah, man. Come you on, know. dog. Do every, that shit every, behind every closed Every time doors. Zaya do something, 
she going on prom. Yeah, or, you got to be on the on the cover of a magazine and shit like that. Yeah, we don't want to see that. Yeah, I don't see Gabrielle Union around do, like she was at first. I know she has taken a step back, and it's mm-hmm. probably on purpose because she. But was I feel doing like she was much. the one pushing it in the she first place. She was doing too much. We so. could jump in front of this, and they they, they probably took a, a you know a test of it and see like what's working and what's not. And she has this 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 attitude that's like you kind of abrasive and not likable. Oh, she's not likable to me at all. No, and it's, she plays the same character mm-hmm. in every movie. The not, not likable, arrogant chick. Yeah. Ooh, I saw one of those to, uh, when I smoked brisket uh, last week. Uh, there was this girl at Willow Ridge. Her first name was Michelle. I'm going to leave it there. Uh, she was had to stank all the time. Just really? like she was better than us. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was in HEB picking up some brisket, and I saw by your house? Yeah. Okay. I was like, cause I ain't seen her since high school. And I, I said, that's her stank ass right there. It Did came, it all, it all came right back. No, we, we locked eyes for a second. And I just kept it moving. Damn. Yeah. No, Look at Mo City. Come on, man. Was she still holding? Was she ever holding? Yeah. Still holding? You're still holding. You should have asked. You should have no, called out. No, no. You said, hey, I, got I didn't question. like her then. I it, got a question to ask you. It's going to change. Now, look, I know we was young and, you know, sometime mature. She was staying, Maturity dog. is a thing. You know, we none of us got it. But you was a cold motherfucker. You just looked a lot better if you just smiled and been a little nicer. Don't you tell no woman to smile. Why? Better not do that. Why? Oh, they don't like that shit. Why? Because, dog. Well, I used to do it all the time. Yeah, well, it, I guess it depends on who's coming from. Like if they if they like you, yeah, if they like yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll let you say some shit. But hey, on on GP, they mm-hmm. don't be telling no woman to smile. Yeah, why? Why, nigga? You gonna buy me a drink? <laughs> yeah, all of that. But yeah, I saw that man. And she gave off that Gabriel Union mm. just to bring it back. Mm. Like, damn, I mean, you'd be cool if you wasn't so abrasive. Yeah, but you know that's how I'd be, man. All right, uh, move along here and shoot for the show. Uh, 100 mile an hour winds hit Houston the other day. This is a straight line windstorm. Uh, now, it was it not a twice. Yes, it was not a tornado. It was called a derecho. Yeah. And the difference is a straight line windstorm a where derecho. the tornado actually turns in a, uh, a, a, a circular motion. Uh, it, it initially, at four dead, I think it went up to eight and left a path of destruction in the middle of downtown Houston. People have yeah. not returned That's to work. That's the one I was in. in. Right. Oh, that's why you lost power. Yeah. Yeah. So me and D Montrose, when we did our our Instagram thing, yeah, he was in Clear Lake. Clear Lake. You out in Clear Lake, uh, and away from the house. So I uh, went to go get some batteries, and my old man said, "Y'all got some weather coming." I said, "All right." So I thought I'm gonna run to Walgreens real quick, get back before it goes out. Nah. While I was in Walgreens, the power went out there. We should have stole everything you could have ran out the uh, door. I ran out the door. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't steal nothing. Because <laughs> bad is expensive. Man, I got to driving and the truck kind of lifted a little bit. <laughs> so I pulled up next to this building, got right up oh, on you it. You know, you would lift some trucks up now. Hey, what? <laughs> anyway, hey, it was, it, to be out there in the middle of that, hey, I underestimated the weather that was coming. And, uh, we that, all, we didn't see none of that cover. Oh, nigga, it, it happened in a major way. That was like wherever. Uh, that was like uh, Kansas, where Dorcas mm-hmm. from. It was like I mean, that. that shit came, boy. That shit wasn't playing no fucking. It went joke. Down. I saw trees knocked down. Yeah, uh, one lady went out to move her car, so a tree wouldn't fall on it, and it wound up falling on it while she was moving. While and she, she was died. Moving it, yep. Yeah, she died. So that's some final destination shit. Right it there. was three yeah. to six inches of rain followed. Uh, four four hundred thousand students were out of school. Uh, 700,000 Houstonians were without power, which would be approximately 30% of Houston. And right. Cyprus really took it hard they as took well. took it hard. Yeah. So. Uh, my son's school was out of power. Mm. And uh, when it passed over, my old lady volunteered us to go clean up. How did that go? Oh, All right, it, was, it wasn't as bad I as I thought. I can't wait to see them take a group photo and y'all be the only niggas there. It, well, we, I got to see it. It, it was kind of like that. <laughs> That's Marshall's parents. That's Marshall's dad. Yeah. Like, hey. like what, what gave it away? Here at this Catholic school, we promote diversity. Yeah, we're diverse. See, see look that, at this one. Look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. With no friends. You know what's funny. Looking like get out. Yeah, well, I, you know, a couple of cats, you know, we shook hands and spoke a little bit mm-hmm. and all that. The pastor, he's an Asian cat from New Orleans. Oh, yeah? How about that? 
Mm. He came out and helped me move some branches and all that. Okay, yeah, I probably sang hype. Well, yeah, we were. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. You just gave me a pass on the short nigga shit, and now he go. My bad. Anyway, man. Yeah, so yeah, that that, that first wave was a big one, dog. Mm-hmm. Then another one followed then a few another, days. The next few days later, man. God damn. I don't know what y'all out here in Texas doing, man. What you say y'all for? Like, like, like you're not here. <laughs> Thank God, man. <laughs> All right, you ever heard of Jinkum? Yeah. You do? You know what that is? Not Jinga. Jinkum. Ain't that like a mix of nut and doo-doo? How you know about this? I don't know. I'm probably because of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I came across this some kind of way. So <laughs> you came you, across it? This I, I guess this started in prison where you would let uh feces and piss ferment. The human waste would ferment and you would inhale the methane em, em, <laughs> emanated from the human feces and urine. Nigga, that's yeah, bad that's living, dog. High. God damn, you serious? Yeah. What do you do, man? Put it in a bag and breathe it in? Hey, man, like I say, I've been watching this uh this thing on Netflix called Un- It's Unlocked, I think. Where it's a, a, a oh, that jail pre- shit? Yeah. And they, they was in there making some shit, letting it ferment. It wasn't jinkum. Talking about the shit with the oranges? That's alcohol. I don't know. I think it was oranges. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get creative in there when you're locked up, dog. Yeah, dog. I saw a nigga do a all kind of shit with an iron, and uh, he he was he was using this the metal desk as a stove. Yeah, he heated it up, and then he like made like an omelet or some shit, yeah. some type of crazy. I saw shit. I saw one one thing where he was heating up a sandwich with the iron. Yeah. Hey, come on, man! You got if you got it. It's amazing you have an iron. In there. Yeah, that's type, dangerous. Any already. type of heating element set yeah. a fire in that bitch. Yeah. Uh, all right, so don't be snort sniffing boo boo. <laughs> Angel Reese, she signed with Reebok to buy you Barbie. She oh, has her own custom shoe. Uh, she's in she Chicago want, now. She ain't the Buy You Barbie no more. She's still gonna carry that moniker from oh, her okay. from her stay at LSU. Uh, she wanted to be the face of women's basketball for a clothing brand, and Reebok presented her with that. Plus, she said her relationship with Shaq helped as well. Well, that's that's the LSU uh, sticker. Mm-hmm. That helped out Cause yeah. she from like Maryland or something Yeah But yeah dog Did you see her walking in them heels yeah, last I bet day. it looked terrible It looked bad dog Looked like she ain't done it before <laughs> Knees was all bent Yeah Like yeah she kind of had to like that That's uncomfortable for her dog. Oh yeah foul of them Yeah I want to see her win though I don't know I, I don't I've, care if I think she an ignorant ass heifer uh, Well I've been seeing Caitlin Clark catch it Yeah that's some Shout bullshit. out to alliteration uh, they, man, they let nice ass have it. That's some bull. That's some bullshit, and it is. It's racism and ignorance to me. That's what it is. Racism. Yep, jealousy. Some ignorant black holes around here being mad at the <laughs> Are world. Are they nappy headed? I didn't say they was nappy headed. <laughs> I said ignorant black holes, <laughs> and uh, they feel like ain't nobody cared about the game because nobody really has until this white girl come out because she played like fucking Steph and Kobe. Man, Angel Reese started that. Nobody gave a damn about Caitlyn until that Angel Reese Angel shit Reese happened. is an ignorant ass heifer too. She the one brought Caitlyn Clark I Can to, you imagine being game. married to her? Which one? Well, you can't. But I can't either. But Hold on, hold on. Angel okay. Reese. I'm just saying, like her attitude, the way she act, she don't know how to be a woman. Mm. She, don't know, she don't know her place. Ooh. She around here snapping and and, and, and doing all of the Ooh, shit all the woman time. getting your place and fix me a goddamn sandwich. I'm just saying, like, she too abrasive, dude. We just like what you said. Yeah. yeah. I can see her having a funky ass attitude all the goddamn time. Mm-hmm. She always seemed like she happy to me. I don't uh, know. She not a, yeah, well, she doing her little TikTok videos. Yeah. I, showing showing out a little bit. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's resold y'all women to get in y'all place. Well, okay. Y'all, y'all better know it. Oh, you want to talk about getting in your place? Hey, there was a commencement speech by the kicker of the Kansas City Chiefs. His name is <laughs> Harrison Buckner. Now, That's a hell of a segue there. Yeah. Uh, usually commencement speeches at graduations are cliche and full of shit. But oh, not this guy. Uh, this is a college called the, the Benedictine Catholic School College or whatever. Oh, it's Catholic And he school. called, Pride, he said Pride Month is bad. And he said that women were happy about jobs and not being a wife and a parent. He said some women should embrace being a homemaker. Mm-hmm. And fix me a goddamn sandwich. Yeah. That's right. 
I loved every minute of it. I think it was stupid and ignorant. I don't think that was a place for it. I mean, you have to really be at an ultimate level of jackassness to yeah. say some stupid shit like that. He's the kicker. Yeah. He's like, nobody he, he knows who you are. He he really 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 he better not miss guy. next that, season. He better not miss. Man, he they gonna be on his ass. Go, I mean, on his ass. <laughs> what a dumbass! I just think it's stupid. And then it's like, why is the NFL apologizing, bitch? Because he played. When you are in the spotlight, such as the NFL, they they gotta come out with a statement to say, hey, they don't share the views and stupidity and all of that. Mm. Even fuck half the league does. It don't matter. You don't want to be the. You're not trying to be the face of it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, man. Well, he is a, a Kansas City Chief. I mean, they are the kings of the hill right now. They are. So, I mean, he get a little bit of cash a for that. Yeah, he kick, he made he, he kicking. He had a great season last year. I think. Yeah. I think he made like the longest field goal kicking Super Bowl history or something, something like that. Well, all I know is the uh, the what, what is the, the the other league that's going on right now? The UFL. UFL. They got kickers knocking sixty and sixty five plus. What? I've seen it. And one cat did like three of them in a game. Damn. 60 yeah. something yarders, man, with ease. So these new kickers better, uh, I mean, these kickers that are up there right now better watch out. Mm. Cause this, this shit look too easy. Are the balls different? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. So now, how I the hell are they say kicking it like there's that? There's not as much pressure because there's not 80,000 people, people screaming. And, you know what I'm saying? They probably mm -hmm. lucky if they get 10,000. Yeah. In the stands, so it's probably just not as much pressure, but nevertheless, it's still a long gap. Hey, man, kid. I've been I watched this dude do three of them like it was lunch. Yeah, I was like, Who is this dude gonna get a contract off of this? I got a partner at work teaching this kid to kick, okay? Yeah, and, and, and most of us want to be the quarterback or the running back or the receiver. <laughs> no, the who get the pussy, <laughs> 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 yeah, that <laughs> hey, son, you go there and kick, yeah. Dog, that's money, though. What you talking it about? It is money. You don't think they get no tail? Not the kickers. Man, if he got some swag, he is. Yeah. Because, I mean, them prima donnas, I mean, they don't have, a lot of them are green, and they just getting ran, getting their money took from them. That's fine. These pros out here. Man. They getting motherfuckers. groomed by these pros out here. You niggas out there fucking motherfuckers that look like Lotto and Drea and Ice Spice. They passing the same Megan ones Stag around, dog. It don't matter as long as that pussy get wet. Nah, no niggas don't wear matter. rubbers. No, nobody likes that. When you check into the Illuminati, you don't have to wear rubbers no more. Oh, it's the Illuminati. Whatever it is. Celebrity, fame, whatever. Them Diddy parties? <laughs> no Diddy, dog. <laughs> Shout out to the shirt, man. Yeah. Shout out to the shirt. Where you get that from? Internet. Okay. You don't want to shout out the website? <laughs> Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I can't wait to switch this drink. God damn. Well, nigga, knock it back. I hear all that ice jiggling in there. I like my shit a little chill. Nigga, it's hot. No, it's not in here. It's not. Nigga, it's not. You're right. This is comfortable as hell. Man. It is very comfortable. All right, uh, Glenn Davis, some of y'all know. Another, He's another LSU player. <laughs> Big baby. Big baby. He was sentenced to 40 months of federal prison for defrauding the NBA's health care plan. Uh, this dumbass idiot right here. He said he was in Beverly Hills getting some dental work done for $27,000. But they uh, subpoenaed his cell phone and did the geolocation and show he was in Vegas where he lives at the time. He's supposed to be getting teeth work or dental work done. Damn. He had plenty of other false claims. Uh, you've seen him lately. He's been goofing off online, saying he don't get in a lot of shape, no more cheeseburgers. But, uh, yeah. He had a little run, though, man. He did. He, yeah, he was like a he baby. Was, he last I heard he wanted to fuck Lizzo. He was on TV, on internet, saying, come on, Lizzo, I'll let me. Really? Yeah. Well, he smoked a lot of weed. Oh, okay, I I can't put my finger on that. I don't. I don't I'm not gonna fat shame or nothing, but I feel like if you get a hold of Lizzo and you do it right, you are gonna have a problem. What you talking about getting her pregnant? No, not getting her pregnant. It's like getting away from her. Dude, I like Lizzo. That's the thing about it, and I don't think she should be fat shamed. She's just a big girl. I don't know why her weight makes everybody. She ain't healthy. No shit. Fat people are not no, healthy. Nigga. But it's skinny it, people that ain't healthy. It's her. She does the shit. She's the one come come off like she's confident, don't care about her weight. What you want her to be mad about? And it? then as soon as you somebody want her to be mad, something. she don't look like Beyonce. I want to stop crying on the camera. I want to stop doing that. Man, fuck. Let her be who she is, no. dog. If you if you turn the camera on and start crying, 
Boo, get your ass That's out. That's how she feel right now, dog. No, don't get on the camera with it. It's you fake. Everybody to know, stop fucking with her. Uh, that's just fake, dog. She fake. She got she got them uh, one of them booties that them fat girls have. Then they had a little thing at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I don't know what you call it, dog. That's like a little I saw that on Instagram not too long ago. What is called? It's, 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 they circled it. Say, yeah. who? What is this? Fuck. <laughs> <up?" laughs> Yeah, that's funny, boy. Oh. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Big Baby. Man, that's that's what, three and a half years? Yeah, something God, like that. Damn. Woo. Damn, fuck that. Hey, man. It's a lot of scammers in my neighborhood, dude. You know that? Uh, yeah, I saw one. Oh, you did? I saw one that he gave all scammer vibes. Big old white dude life. walking his dog without a leash. Shirt, next door? Shirt off. Not next door, just down the street. Just Fuck ignorant motherfucker does that. Oh yeah. Oh, it's gonna go bad one day with that motherfucker. Yeah, I'm yeah. He you. he gives off like some some fucked off vibe. In my gate. Yeah. No, it had to be this guy. Well, he, he probably was walking his dog. He's though. walking his dog. Big white That's boy him. had his yeah. shades on. Yeah. No, no shirt. leash. It's like oh, look big at big him. ass dog, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's him. Somebody gonna yeah. get on his ass. Yeah. He he. How far was he down the street? Man, he was uh probably about six seven houses down when I saw him. He he fucking with somebody gonna write the right. Yeah, I, 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 I can see it. It's, it's coming with his ass. He and thinking about it, he's a fucking asshole. He don't I believe, speak. I believe it. He'll he like walk it. right by you like you ain't never like he, you ain't there. He looked like that. That's a that's a hard way to live, dude. When Man. you just walk around being an asshole all day, Man, that's privilege. Yeah. So uh, if you if you can't benefit him, he ain't got no time for you. Yeah. That's that's what that looked like. Uh. <laughs> anyway. Uh. You ever heard of Family Fair? It's a store in Michigan. So okay, no. I heard of Family Fair. There's a homeless 34-year-old woman. She was living inside the sign of a, of a grocery store. Inside the sign? Yeah, she would open it and go in there. and That's where she lived. Shit, that's creative. I thought so, too. Yeah. I want to applaud her. Hey, hey, was it in the store? No, it was like, it was like in the, the little curb oh, with okay. the grassy area. Yeah, she just walks in there. Because <laughs> cause, uh, I obviously said if I was down bad, I'd just go live in the store. How you going to do that, dude? Or, or steal out the store. Well, I mean, the store got all the shit. <laughs> if you hungry, if you're thirsty, go to the store. How are you going to do that? They got a restroom in there. How you going to do that, dog? Well, easily. Where you uh, going to hide when they're cleaning this motherfucker? Well, I mean, you got to be creative. You talk about a person place like H-E-B, they fucking stocking at night. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you go up in the ceilings if you can know how to get up there. They got to up. Every store has an up. I can't wait for you to do this. Every store has an up. Yo, I, I can't wait for you to pull this out. I'm just telling you, man, I don't plan on doing it. Well, I hope you go but broke so we can see. If it happens, it. nigga, I, I know how to do it. Why don't you just stay in the old man garage? Well, I mean, of course, that would be the thing. I'm saying if I'm if nobody want to deal with me, I done used up all my favors. Go to the store. Dog. It's easy. Stop it, man. I hope I ain't leading nobody down the wrong path. I don't want y'all to get in no trouble out there. But you don't. If you're down on your ass, the store is right there. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I saw this homeless cat outside this uh, gas station by the old man house. Mm -hmm. Found out he uh, he works in there. They they let him clean. Oh yes, yeah, several guys like that. They walk around cleaning and shit. Yeah. Throw him a little money to buy some more crack. But he was standing right in front of the store. Every time I went over there, there he was, just standing there. You might as well employ him. He just going to stand there and start bumming money from everybody. Yep. Yep. He, know, he never asked me for money. So. Oh, he got, a, he got him a job. That's it. I saw him in there sweeping up. I said, okay. Then I saw there's another black entrepreneur on the end of the end of the thing, right by KFC. A black entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, man. He was selling fragrances. Okay. That you spray in your car. Oh, I thought you were talking about them like, oils that you put on your like, body. Like, damn, you remember damn? That, that, uh, uh It used to be the spray they used to sell, like Alfonso and all. No, I remember the Bam. I mean, that's that, like the auto detail. Well, yeah, that, yeah, that's the one that they thought he had the weed smell. Well, Bam, uh, yeah, Bam. But they had a damn. Yeah. Okay. Well, this you ever ate Spam? Yeah. <laughs> this nigga's a poet. Yeah. I ain't even know it. Who about Rack of Lane? <laughs> Hold up, man. Watch yeah. out. We need a beat. Hey. 
I let ill ran. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I bought, bought some shit off this dude, man. About three of them. It was three for 20. Okay. You know. Shit works. She smell like you hiding weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I got one for you. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Damn, yeah. Well, yeah, I brought one for you. <laughs> you know, my mom gave me some spray bottles. They come from uh, Bad Bath and Body Works. They're about this big. You spray one time. It's pretty good stuff. Bath and Body Works. I had a joke about that. I think I told it. Did you? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, t- still talking news here on the Souvenir Show. Yeah. Uh, let's go. Let's hear. Just in Chicago for the combine. Yeah. What are the scouts saying about Bronny? Well, they wanted to reserve judgment until they saw him. Mm. They did see he was listed as six one, mm. and they did see he had a forty point five vert. Mm. But I was like, "What would you do right now before he goes and plays? What would you do?" And they said, "We wouldn't draft him." Both of them said they would not draft him. I said, okay, let me give them a couple days. Let, let's see what happens in the, after they watch him play. Now, this is their take after watching him play. Scout one, I still don't think he's ready, but he did some good things. He's on the smaller side, so he's going to have to be elite on defense. You can see he has good vision, makes right passes, takes good shots. They'll probably, he's probably going to need more time. If the Lakers don't draft him, I don't see anyone drafting him. Hmm. Teams would be want him on a two-way, and I don't think Clutch would want that. It gets a little tougher. The other scout I talked to, positional athlete, doesn't function as an elite athlete. Tweener stuck between two positions. Should be a point guard based on his size, but he can't run an offense. He's handicapped as an undersized shooting guard because he can't shoot. Mm-hmm. Zero four on threes on one day, one for three the other day. Needs screens to create space, and his only scoring came on paint touch floaters and can only go left. His strength is supposed to be defensively, but he's a switch matchup. Every bigger player who switched on him scored. He's comp, a poor man's Davion Mitchell. He is not an NBA prospect, in my opinion. Not my words, words of two veteran NBA scouts. Mm. Look. Ooh, he flaming that boy up. Flaming him out. Old Bronny James, he's entered the, he put his name in half of the NBA draft. Uh, initially said he was going to keep his options open. After one year at USC, um, people thought he might just test the waters, but he he's definitely staying in the draft. Mm. Uh, <laughs> this is some crock of shit they got going on, of course. And Stephen Avon called out. He went from the 98th ranked guy to now he's in the 40s. Uh, he's turning down workouts for teams, only working out for the Lakers and the Spurs. Turning down workout. Yeah. Uh, he that bad. Yeah. I mean, this is another reason why I don't like LeBron. Uh, I mean, of course, like the guy said, uh, he's 6'1", not 6'4". And this two-way contract is what a lot of kind of G League players sign, some crap like that. I, I'm not from, too familiar. I got to read up on it. But he is turning that down as well. And I'm like, who the fuck you think you are, dude? Nigga, he's a James. Hey, that carries weight. I cannot wait till LeBron is out of it. I it just, uh, I just get so sick of it. I don't know why any of his kids would have to work like that. Oh, you know, he daddy, always said he want to play with his son. Daddy got y'all set for life, nigga. The thing about it is, I think his son is going to play one year or two, and he'll be out of the league. Mm-hmm. When LeBron leaves, he's gone. Nobody gonna fuck with him. Yeah, and he just kind of making a mockery of the system. Uh, the nepotism is just. Just fucking ridiculous. Uh, this know. same one that had the heart attack or some shit, right? Yeah. Like, man, nobody's nobody's going for that. Well, he already showed he got issues. Yeah. Chill out, man. Go sit down somewhere, man. Mm-hmm. Your last name is James, and your dad is LeBron. A LeBron, like like my man like to say. Chris Broussard. Chris Broussard. LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? You think he going to the Lakers? You think it's a good idea for LeBron to? Use all his fucking clout and pull to get Bronny into the league? Well, I mean, or you think he should let him find his own way? Well, the second option is out. It's out. LeBron going to pull some strings get his kid in there. That's going to happen. It's and a good idea. The Lakers and the Suns. How do they know the Suns want him? Man, I don't know. He, he's probably privy to some shit. So I, I, can't, I can't call it there, man. But I think 
I think that it's inevitable that he's going somewhere in the league just based off his name. And they and either he they gonna be disappointed and they gonna sweep it under the rug or he's gonna step up and nah, show y'all. They gonna come up with some oh, he got a leg injury mm-hmm. instead of just saying the motherfucker sorry. He might have another another uh Ooh, don't say what's that. what's um Brunson. Brunson for uh Knicks? Yeah. He was they said he wasn't gonna be shit. Well that boy been kicking ass. And yeah, and you know, look at look at him now. Yeah. See, might Brunny might do that. He ain't doing that. All right. I might be. I mean, don't, don't count him out now. So you saying he might have something? He might have something. Oh, look at this motherfucker right here. Uh, she oh. sure look light, light skin right now. That's the lightning. And that oh, light they up. lightening her up, dog. That's the lighting, dude. No, I don't trust that. I mean, when you see her in person, she probably won't be that light. She ain't. She's a darky. I don't like it. You don't oh. like it. She lost. She lost a lot that's, of that. That's Illuminati. All right. Hey, this is the Shoot From Hip Show. We've been going for quite a while. What you think? Oh, yeah. Hour and some change. Hour and some change. And I ain't got to edit this bit. That's right. So uh, we'll be back at the short break. We hope y'all enjoy us. Get back in the lab. And uh, just give us some ammunition, some ammo. So when we do get back in the lab, we can hear from some of the guys that are still fucking with us. This is the Shoot From Hip Show. We'll be right back. If this your first time listening, take this move and just sit slow and consider this your welcome to the Shoot From The Hip Show. 